Woohoo! Safe landing! Today was rough. It was really rough. We had a lot of trouble finding a spot today. And we ended up driving probably an additional two hours, would you say, trying to find a spot? At least. Yeah. And it's because we have an event here in Missoula, and we want to stay as close as we can without staying at like an overcrowded campground where everyone's on top of each other. Our stubbornness cost us two hours of time. But we made it, and the spot that we're in is actually incredible. Like, it's so cool. But we're both, probably Nick much more than I am, a little beaten up from today. <laughs> and we don't have service, which should be amazing, but it also stresses me out because I haven't been able to work hardly at all today because there wasn't really any service on the road either. So tomorrow... We will just have to get some stuff done before the event. But I'm cooking <laughs> because we had a rough day. At least we'll get a good meal. Some broccoli, some burgers that Nick got when he was in Oregon. And I'm going to cut up some peppers too. So that's what's going on. Some awesome films this year. Yeah. We spent the past two nights in Missoula and went to the Full Draw Film Tour, which was so much fun. There were a ton of people there, all bow hunters or outdoor folks at the least. There's this energy that exists and you just kind of look around and have this understanding of people, sort of who they are, what they're about, which is really cool. And I feel like the hunting community is, it's really not that big. It is, but it isn't. It's cool to see faces that you know and to meet new people and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it was a lot of fun and they gave away so much stuff. Who's this? This yeah. full draw film tour, you want some free first light here? Like, they had a ton of raffles, a ton of giveaway prizes, shirts and hats that they were throwing out to the crowd. People were going nuts. It was awesome. The energy in the room was great too. There's a good mix for everyone, which I greatly appreciate. They had, you know, a bear film, elk films, whitetail films, male, female, kids, adults, the whole bit. So that was greatly appreciated. Some of them were funny, some of them were serious, so depending on what you're looking for, there definitely is a film represented 
in the lineup that you would like, I'm sure. It was great. And the beer was good. And we met some new people and ended up like staying out late and having a really good time. So Missoula is a cool place. We weren't so sure about Missoula, not gonna lie. But after spending some time there, this time, into it a lot more. A lot of good space to get outside and again, like a good community of like-minded people, which is great. Backcountry Hunters and Anglers and TRCP both have offices in Missoula. Uh, National Wildlife Federation has an office there, although that's not their like main office. Anyways, we are off to Bozeman now and we're meeting up with some friends. I don't know what kind of trouble we're gonna get into. <laughs> probably no trouble at all. We'll probably hang out with friends tonight and fish a day or two while we're here in Bozeman. And you guys will, of course, see that. So that's what you have to look forward to. One thing I would like to add. We have noticed that trying to camp in the summertime is like, trying to compete with a hundred million other people to find 30 spots that exist. It's a pain in the butt. We drove around for probably two additional hours looking for a spot and eventually finding one, thank God. But it was like the last one. So I'm sure there were a lot of other folks in the same situation. Uh, so just something to keep in mind if you're ever going to camp in the summer. Expect to not find a spot. Which sucks, but it's true. So, I just wanted to throw that in there. Because I feel like that's a helpful warning <laughs> to anyone trying to do this. Just trying to camp with their family for the weekend or with their friends for the weekend, it gets crazy. How you feeling? Oh. I got a poop. Oh my god. Also, we have some crazy, crazy exciting news that we are going to announce in our next video. So, keep your little eyeballs peeled and hit the bell notification so that you know when I post a video. Hit that subscribe button. I'm just like plugging the channel right now, but Seriously, we have some really cool projects that we've been working so hard on and I'm so excited to share with you all. And we have a newsletter that you can sign up for. It's in the description below and the folks on the newsletter will be the first ones to hear about big news and behind the scenes details on things and just the first for everything. Just to stay up to date on stuff. Keep you guys in the loop. It's so exciting. Montana, you are gorgeous. We love you. We might move here. So we never ended up fishing again on film. Fish. Yeah, we did fish, but we decided not to film it for a couple of reasons, but mostly because everybody needs a break from work. And although we love filming and sharing, every once in a while you need to like put the camera away and just enjoy it. Nick hasn't fished in so long because he's always holding a camera, which is great, but also, you know, he deserves some time to fish. So we got to fish together and just like enjoy it fully. We always enjoy it, but enjoy it fully. You catch my drift. We caught a ton of fish too, which like, you know, of course I wish I could share everything with you guys, but it was nice to just like catch a bunch of fish. I caught this beautiful, wild rainbow. He was a, a larger, beautiful fish. I never catch big fish, and he was a larger one. He was probably one of the bigger ones that I've caught. And it was just for us to enjoy, so that's cool. So, that is the update. I know footage has been a little bit jumpy and I apologize for that, but I hope that you guys are still loving this Life on the Road series because I'm loving it so much. And we're getting a little bit settled again. I was away for a week, so like it was, it was just difficult. I think you already heard this spiel and that's why footage has been jumpy. 
but things are gonna be smoother again as they were and yeah life on the road continues so thank you guys so much for watching we love and appreciate you all and we'll see you guys in the next video